Hi, hello, and welcome. I am definitely not Vanderloo, and you're watching me pug my way to 2.8k rating on an Enhancement Shaman in Dragonflight Season 2. So there's a bit of an update for the rules. The first one is still the same. I cannot group with anyone I know. The second rule is getting some changes, because you guys got a poll and you voted. Basically, everyone said that they either don't give a shit, just don't want me to get carried, or they're perfectly fine with me joining my pug group for another dungeon after I'm done with a dungeon with them. There were some comments that were very insightful, very, very thoughtful. One said basically, if there is someone in the group who is doing a lot of more damage than I am, I should probably not group with them because then I'm just being carried by someone who's clearly outperforming me. I completely agree with that. So basically, if I check details and I see that someone's doing a shit ton more damage than I am, I will not group with them again. That way, there is no chance of me getting carried in the next dungeon because it would be unfair. It would completely defeat the purpose of the pug to 2.8k rating, right? Also, people were saying that I shouldn't group for too many runs in a row. I completely agree. I think at the very most, I'm going to join them for just one more dungeon after I finish our run with them, because running for three dungeons in a row with the same group just, uh, it feels a bit too much for me. I don't know. Even, honestly, if I'm going to be honest, without the poll, I would have never changed the role, but people seem to really want me to just join up with the people that I find randomly. And you know, if you guys vote for it in a poll, I can't ignore it. Oh, yes. And I almost forgot. One more thing that was said in a comment, which I completely agree with. If I am the one hosting the key, I cannot continue with that group because what could happen is I could just invite people that have 3k mains or whatever. And that would basically be just choosing who gets to carry me. And that would make it too easy. So I completely agree with who pointed that out, which was Milk Mall 20 which is a hell of a username. Thank you for pointing that out. I didn't even think of it, honestly. I really appreciate that. So yeah, again, in short, just to recap, I can continue and do one more dungeon with a group that I pug into, meaning I have to get invited into a random pug, and the only time I'm allowed to actually keep going with them is if I'm not being out DPS'd by a lot. I know that saying a lot is vague, but if I see anyone's doing like 10% or more damage than I am, I'm just not going to continue with them because I really don't want it to see that I'm getting carried. You guys have seen the druid runs, you've seen in the Paladin series. I genuinely want to pug my way to 2.8k rating. I'm not looking for any handouts with rating or dungeon runs or anything like that. I personally, like I said, would never want to change this rule, but I cannot ignore the fact that people are asking me to change it. So here we are. We're going to change it. That wasn't much of a recap. I'm not good at recaps. I'm not good at brevity most of the time. Anyway, another rule is that I cannot send myself gold from my other characters, accept any free gold or buy a WoW token. I have to clear every dungeon on a plus 20 on either Tyrannical or Fortified, which means I need to get all the points portals, and I have to hit 2,800 rating, which means that I will have to run 20s and then some 21s, maybe even 22s. Who knows, maybe we do a 23, you never know. But the key thing is just to hit 2,800 rating. Okay, so let's see what is the plan now. We do have these satchels. What am I actually saving them for? Probably level 60? I don't even know. I think we're going to check the auction house first for some greens to resell and maybe to see what I sold and repost whatever I did. Oh, damn, I sold everything? That nets us a 78 gold and 14 silver. Not bad, not bad for just selling random crap I'm getting from dungeons. That's really not that bad. Quickly just going to check for 70 greens that are posted at the wrong price and there's nothing there. Looks like not many people are making the mistake of posting at the wrong price, which is perfectly fine. There is no low hanging fruit for me to grab. Apparently I have something that can give me more tendies and I'm always up for more tendies. 200 traders tender. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay. I'm just going to queue up. The goal for this episode, I think is going to be, can I hit level 60? I would love to hit level 60. I think I can hit level 60. Let's just queue up and see if we can do it. If I hit level 60, I'm going to be one happy camper because I really want to make sure I get to 70 before the reset hits because I would like to do the five time walking dungeons and the five heroic dungeons and the five everything, blah, 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 blah. blah. You know what I mean? I want to do all the weekly stuff and then be able to do it again next week, right at the start. Not next week, but actually next after the reset. That's what I mean. It, it's funny how when you play enough World of Warcraft, next week isn't Monday. Next week is whenever your reset hits. <laughs> at least that's what it's like for me. I don't know. Maybe it's just the me thing. But anyway, I would like to make a macro that is going to show tooltip doom wins. It's going to slash use crypto chiroteric sigil. What the fuck is the name of that? Chiropteric sigil, whatever. And it's going to cast doom winds. Now there's going to be somebody in the comments telling me to use the like 13 and 14 for the slots. I don't do that. No, I'm not going to do it. Stop telling me to do it. I won't. I don't want to.
you're not my real dad. So what this will do is we're going to use our trinket so that when we use doom winds, which is when we want to do more damage, we have the extra agility from this while also casting. Oh shit. Oh god damn it. While also casting doom winds. And we're going to replace doom winds with that. And when I get a new trinket, I'm going to try and replace it or correct it or whatever, but it doesn't matter if I don't. Maybe I should put this somewhere on my bars. Last enemies in front of you with the power of wind fire and all that kind of thing. <laughs> Three minute cooldown. I don't think it does very much, but we'll find out. Anyway, I will continue talking to you once I'm in a dungeon or getting ready to join one. Here we go. A Q pop. We get experience in gold in a bag oh it's the end times again well i've already done that i'm not going to be doing well of eternity ah yes my weak aura is functional wait is this a different one this is a different one there's two different ones no it's not a different one i guess we just have to defeat three of the echo or two of the echoes before we can do the fourth one that's very interesting well there's level 46 yeah i i'm pretty confident i can hit level 60 in this episode we'll see it's been a hot minute since i played yesterday at this time is when i last played and i I can't believe I have forgotten, but holy fuck is the spec fun. And look, I'm actually doing damage now. Mom, get the camera. I'm doing damage. I can see how on single target, it might not feel as cool. I, I still really enjoy the way it feels on single target, but it's uh, there's definitely not as many procs because you don't get the AOE hits, so you don't get as much um, Maelstrom weapon procs or stacks, I guess. So you can't zoop zoop as hard. I'm not going to hit them until we have the beam. There's the beam. The reason is because they don't take as much damage until you have the um, debuff removed. So this angry face buff that they have on their bars, once that goes away, that's when you can do more damage to them. Yeah, damage taken reduced by 90%. So the Zug Zug is temporarily paused until we can actually smash them. I do have Doom Winds, but I'm going to save it for the boss. Oh god, it, it actually feels fucking amazing when they all stack up like this. Because you have to gather a bunch of them while you're like running between the moonlights. Pro tip, while you're in Ghost Wolf, you can keep auto attacking things. So do that and you will get Maelstrom weapon procs i say pro tip as if i am a pro <laughs> the fucking leveling learning the class oh, i got an we got an achievement called moon guard interesting oh, and i should use the cooldown i said i would use when i get here <laughs> God damn it. Ooh, we got a head guard. It even has a socket. Oh, I got upgraded with a socket. Haste mastery. Isn't that like best in slot for me? Well, best in slot is the wrong word to use because best in slot doesn't really exist in this game anymore in the way it was originally con conceived. All right, we're going to hop over here. We're going to kick that guy once. Yeah, he does that. We're going to... And we're going to drop this stun, and now we're going to do damage. Okay. Get the utility out of the way, and then zug zug. Guy's taking reduced damage, it looks like. I'm going to kick this. I'm going to jump over to that. No, I'm not going to jump over to that guy. I wanted to really, like, use Feral Engine to get to him, and then smash his face. But it was on cooldown. It was unfortunate. Hopefully one of the ranged DPS actually uses the Hourglass this time, so I don't have to go run over at it. 2.3k damage from the Trinket? Okay, I need to check that in details later. That, that seems like a lot for a little shitty Trinket. I think it might have been my lightning bolt oh my goodness what are these procs holy shit did you see that what the hell what are these procs dude is it the time warp what the fuck i just hit like 17 storm strikes in a row holy crap that was insane all right let me check details on this last fight it doesn't even look like i used the trinket wait no was that this is this from the trinket no storm blast must be something else sounds very much like a shaman ability not not a trinket ability is it though wait let me check overall damage then then maybe i can find it no it looks like storm blast it might be because the trinket says it's going to start blast it with the power of wind fire and all that kind of thing so maybe storm blast is the trinket no it's not because i only use the trinket once and it has more damage here than it does at the end of the dungeon so what the hell is the damage from the trinket did it just not do anything to the boss <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's possible. Okay, so the trinket is shit. I thought it was great. It turns out it's shit. Anyway, we're going to queue for another dungeon. Oh, I got levels. Um, What do I put levels in? I'm going to put it in here. And we'll grab this as well for the overflowing maelstrom. And then we get elementals and elemental weapons later. So we're going to have to reorganize those a little bit. I'm going to get the gust of wind just so I have another way to get around. I'm going to apply these changes. I'm going to move the gust of wind to my middle mouse button because that's where I keep my, uh, what's it called? Wild charge on my druid. And the travel form wild charge actually feels pretty much identical to this wind gust thing that i do so i'm gonna keep it there because it's just the closest reference and alt 4 is uh above shift 4 obviously and shift 4 is my cleanse spirit so alt 4 is like removing or preventing fears charms and sleeps so that's where i'll keep that actually no poison uh remove totem would actually fit there much better so maybe what i'll do is i'll put it in alt g i don't think i'll have many heals available for this class there is chain heal that i could spec into i'll see if uh builds later on do that i also know that i'll have the ancestral guidance thing which is similar to i'm actually going to put that on shift g right away just to reserve that spot I'll put the poison cleansing 
totem on alt four and thunderstorm i need to figure out where i'm gonna put thunderstorm hmm that would actually be really good on shift c i think it's gonna have to be shift c because shift c is usually my aoe cc this time i have a lot of aoe cc especially playing thunder uh thunder what mountain mount what what the fuck am i trying to say high mountain torrent that's what <laughs> what was I trying to say? I have no no idea. I was trying to say Thunder Bluff because that's where the Tarin live. What the fuck? Anyway, uh, where should I put my Earthbind Earthbind totem? That's a lot of keybinds. Um, I actually don't. I really don't know. I really like all three for Ghost Wolf. That's where I keep my travel form. That's where I've kept Ghost Wolf before when I leveled uh, or played an enhancement shaman. Not an enhancement, just a shaman, but still. Frost Shock is a slow that's on shift three. Maybe I could move that because it's not like I'm trying trying to use it as a slow i'm trying to use it as a damage source with ice strike and later on with maelstrom weapon consumption if i read the build correctly yeah maybe i should just move frost shock over to b and then my slow can be the totem which i'll put on shift three because slows whenever i have a slow or snare i put it on shift three so i'm gonna put the totem on shift three so we're gonna just drop the totem with shift three and b will be the big blast b for big blast with the frost shock the instant cast i think i may actually have to grab the razor naga for this class there's gonna be a lot more stuff that i still need to bind but we'll figure it out we'll figure it out for sure bit by bit anyway i'll talk to you once i am ready to join a dungeon you pop Let's see which dungeon we get this time. Maybe it's end time. Maybe it's another one. Area is actually exceedingly bright. Like the sands are super, super white. Like I think that's pretty much perfect white, which is just blasting out my eyeballs right now. Ooh, Lost City of Detolvir. Been a long time since I've been here. Got my Tremor Totem. Don't care about fear. My DPS so high, I don't have a peer. Only place to put it would be legendary tier. Okay, that's enough of that. Honestly, I, I ran out of ideas. Oh, I don't... <laughs> I don't fit through the fucking door. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, that was so stupid. <laughs> I'm too thick. I'm getting my ass beat. I need to step away and heal myself. Ooh, 8k crit on the heal. Holy shit. I don't know what I was getting hit by, though. Because it didn't look like I had aggro. I don't know. Okay, so we're skipping this, it looks like. The paladin wants to skip. We're going to put a marker on the paladin just so I can keep track of him a little bit easier. Doom wins. Just keep spamming storm strike. Just keep mashing the bejesus out of storm strike. Holy shit, that feels good. I, I like it. I, I I can't cap it, but I really fucking like this spec. I'm going to keep fucking saying it. Just got to make sure I don't stand behind the fucking lockma because when he does the flail thing he smashes everything behind him if i understood it correctly i think we can soothe this that's the boss fight okay then we get another boss fight right here yes we do okay that can also be soothed it seems i don't have a soothe of any sort oh there's a whirlwind i should be kiting that when whirlwind stopped okay i got my blessing of protection so i don't have to hide kite hide kite, hide, kite what kite him anymore what happened to my brain there please explain to me oh now i'm even bigger there's no fucking way i'm fitting through the door now i just want to see just how bigger how much bigger than the door i am now wait this mount fits through the door but the core hound does oh come on that's bullshit i clearly clipped through that <laughs> as the, this person everyone seems to really like the infernal mount it is very fucking cool though just gonna try and use doom wind on cooldown here i still don't have all my weak auras up and set up well i not by all i mean i have pretty much none i should really try to change that maybe i should uh, just do that between the dungeon queues because the dungeon queues are starting to get a bit longer you can dodge dodge me from behind how the heck Ooh, this tank likes his big pull that's for sure drop a stump to stun totem on that we're gonna get feared okay i didn't know there were fears here i'm gonna drop a tremor totem once i'm back in there that's an alt g now i'm gonna try and actually do some aoe damage now drop my sunder that'll stun all of them or incapacitate for a while kick that hex i don't want the hex to go through yeah it was a little bit hex hectic hexic <laughs> was a little bit hectic but well, we killed everything in the end so that's good i really need a heal so i'm gonna heal myself with maelstrom weapon basically it's a instant heal the full kind of thing i'm just gonna kill this merchant so that he doesn't bother us okay that merchant also needs to well at least we're gonna flame shock him Oop with the fucking gust of wind that looks pretty cool okay doom winds comes up pretty fucking often one and a half minute isn't that long of a time apparently would love it if i could get this this disease removed from me okay a little circle spawned on me okay he's immune i just wasted my sunder is it called sunder sunder ring whatever gotta go in that present continues i have to kill this thing the harbinger of darkness once we kill that we get to damage the high prophet again there we go we can beat the shit out of him use my other trinket i don't i don't even know what it does to be honest with you because it doesn't really give a good description of what it's doing <laughs> and we have to use the tornadoes to get up there i think we have to kill the ads first like the boss is basically an ad fight you keep killing the ads and then you're good 
We're just going to op heal here for a little bit. Once the priest joins us, he's jumping up, I think. Okay, well, healing job has been concluded. We're going to go for the servant. I think those are the ones we need to kill. I'll save the doom winds for when we can actually hit the boss. We're just about ready to be able to hit the boss. There we go. I think once you kill three of those servants, you get to beat the shit out of the boss. I'm just going to throw my spells at him until I'm able to do properly hit him once he's done knocking me around there's doom winds we're gonna actually zug zug now i can't give us bloodlust i did just get it from leveling up in the middle of the dungeon or rather at the start of the dungeon we're gonna kick this why can't i kick it because my thing is on cooldown lad so i just spent five seconds trying to kick it while i'm just supposed to be mashing the fuck out of this boss i'm level 50 i just started playing like an hour ago not even what the fuck? Three levels from this dungeon? Really? That's, that's crazy. This is fucking busted. <sighs> I need to kill that big guy over there to get the quest completion, but I don't think I can take that guy out on my own, can I? I think these guys would pull if I try to run past them. Yes, they, yes, they would. Yes, they definitely would. Can I teleport out of dungeon? <laughs> I, need to, I need to figure out a way to get out of this. Oh no, while I'm in combat, I can't do that. Er, well, I'm gonna go try and turn in the quest that I can turn in. <laughs> and then just run out of the portal. I hope that doesn't make me leave the dungeon completely, in the sense of that I can teleport back to it. But it looks like I can't get to that guy that's that I have to kill either way, so I don't have much reason to come back to the dungeon. Because I could get to him, but then I have to fight some... Oh my goodness, get me out. But yeah, then I would have to fight the, <laughs> the enemies that are also pulled with him. Okay, so what do we spend our talent points on? Holy shit. Put one point into elemental weapons, then next level we can get Feral Spirit. Oh yeah. So at 51 we get Feral Spirit. That's going to be awesome. We're going to have our doggos gonna put a point into this and i'm gonna put a point into thundershock that knocks enemies up instead of away and its cooldown is reduced by five seconds so every 25 seconds hold on yeah every 25 seconds i'm able to do an aoe cc knock up that is busted that is i mean come on dude that's gonna be fucking overpowered i really like that this class is kind of busted <laughs> That is awesome. And we're going to get Ancestral Guidance soon, so we can help out with healing every couple of minutes. I wonder if Mana Spring is any good. I'll see if the build uses it, but Mana Spring seems, seems pretty good. Especially with mana intensive classes like Resto Druid. I've noticed that Resto Druids need to drink more than other healers. Okay, maybe I should actually equip some of these. No, these are a downgrade. The ring is an upgrade, though. Yes, I want to equip it. And I want to move these bags up there. Uh, the cloak is an upgrade. Very nice. Also, Haste Mastery. Hell yeah. And the helmet. I already equipped the helmet that I got earlier. Cool, 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 cool. And the boots we said we're not an upgrade because they're from the quest which gives weird item level stuff we're gonna vendor the rest of this we have some bags ready for when we hit 60 i don't think i'll need them because i can just keep queuing time walking right i would at least hope so we'll see but i would hope so and i just realized i don't have my totems anymore because i changed my back i don't know how long that was going on but i sincerely apologize this is clearly unacceptable do i have any cool looking weapons i have this that's kind of cool very lightning a very very enhancement shaman storm build kind of maces we have some of these honor bounce cult crusher okay that looks pretty cool <laughs> yeah i like the way that looks we got the plank of wood with a nail in it very good high quality craftsmanship craftsmanship this looks weird yeah none of these are what i'm actually going to use i have a very very specific weapon in mind that i'm going to use but that's going to be something i do once i'm done with like the rush that i need to do now to get to max level and do all the stuff before the weekly reset hits with how quick the leveling's going maybe i just go to level 70 in this episode hmm we will see i'm not certain i make no promises i guess you'll have to watch the whole episode unless the title kind of gives it away i don't know i haven't planned i don't plan these things out and i think it's showing right now <laughs> well here we go another dungeon pop very lovely it is the throne of the tides keeps removing my dang lightning shield and both of these seem to hop even though i have both of them and that's kind of annoying and when i apply one of them they both go away and that's not a weak or a problem because I've, I've corrected that i think in episode two i managed to fix it up and make them all work so i'm not sure what exactly is the issue i don't think i'm going to commentate much throughout this run because we've done this dungeon before and I'm just trying to blast through the levels. I'll keep recording in case something really funny happens, but for the most part, I'm just gonna be skipping through any of the dungeons that we've already done. Oh, we just got a message from Nuke Shadow saying, hey man, love the videos, inspired me to start playing WoW again. That is awesome. I hope you're having a great time and welcome back to the world of Warcraft. That's awesome, Nuke Shadow. Here, enjoy your little shout out. I hope you're watching the video right now. <laughs> Did we leave someone behind? It sure looks like we left someone behind. No, everyone's here. It's all good. But yeah, I love these little uh, messages I get. It actually makes me super, super happy. It's so, uh, it's kind of a weird feeling when you get a message out of nowhere, you know? But it's, uh, it's not a bad feeling. It's just weird. 
because I don't know. It's just it it feels a little weird. We're going to just quickly close that so I can actually see the full screen and make sure I kick these things that I need to kick. But yeah, Nuke Shadow, welcome back to World of Warcraft. I hope you're having a good time. I feel like you joined at a really good time to join World of Warcraft. You joined at a really good time to join. What am I saying? What I meant to say is you joined at a really good time. Like it's a good time to come back to World of Warcraft because Dragonflight has just been so fun. I think this is some of Blizzard's best work so far. And with Chris Metzen coming back, I'm super fucking excited about it in the future. I'm just gonna try and drop all of our CC here so that these witches can't keep healing okay we killed them fast enough well by we i mean this monk this monk is absolutely ripping everything to shreds we're gonna stun everything with our moo moo looking at the spirit mender gonna kick that heal chain lightning coming through I, i'd rather let the chain lightning go through because we're not really taking much damage i just don't want them to heal anymore give everyone a little speed up doom wins and go to town on this bad boy or bad girl i should say this seems to be a female naga lady najjar i wonder if she's from Najjatar. Haha. <laughs> Turned into a pirate there at the end of that sentence, but what can you do? Ah, I got hit by the stupid tornado thing. Didn't see it coming. Don't know how. They're very bright. I just wasn't paying attention, I think. <laughs> this is going to be very interesting if they keep that mechanic in. I have no idea how they're going to change these dungeons because some of these dungeons are just don't feel like they're good for Mythic Plus in the sense of they just have mechanics that don't make sense with the current state of the game, like in, at endgame. So I'm hoping that they add some more mechanics and make it more interesting, like with Vortex Pinnacle, where they added the death zone, basically, for the second boss, for the dragon boss. It feels like they really polished that up a little bit just to make it work, which is perfect. That's exactly what they need to do with this. Oh, he, oh, he's he getting zapped. My guy getting tased. OK, that's enough of that cinematic. I really don't need to see that. They're going to kill the boss before I even get there. I completely forgot we do have. Oh, I'm getting squeezed. No, he's squeezing me, guys. Let me go. There's another dark fish here. We're going to doom winds here because this guy's kind of beefy. You could probably just use doom winds on cooldown, honestly, unless there's a boss fight coming right up after this or whatever I'm pulling, not this. You know what I mean? Give movement speed. I have this curse on me. I don't have my cleanse spirit. How am I going to get cleanse spirit? I should get ancestral defense. That'll actually help get me or make me beefy. Fire and frost damage. I don't do much frost. Well, actually, I do frost damage with frost shock when I use ice strike. And ice strike does frost damage, it looks like. Yes, 813 frost damage. It looks like every group is just going to be skipping the optional boss, which makes sense. You're just trying to do these as quickly as possible to get to the last boss and get the dungeon completion EXP. I understand that. It's going to wait a little bit longer. Now we can do the sundering. We're going to purge all of these buffs that these guys get whenever they attack, uh, put them on themselves, which is the surge, I believe, or the swell. Sorry, we're going to purge that right away. I didn't purge that last one because I just wanted to zoom, zoom, deal damage. I think I'm going to bloodlust once the three ads we have to kill come out. But you can't see me. I am a stealth Tauren. Well, actually, that's not that surprising now that rogues can actually be fucking Tauren. But yeah, I went up Neptulon's skirt to hide. Is that a skirt or is that just him? Am I inside of him now? This is getting kinky. I don't want to do this anymore. Okay, here are the ads. We're going to bloodlust. Going to drop doom winds just to kill these as quickly as possible because they're kind of beefy. Okay, now we need to beat the shit out of the guy that got tased. Well, the guy, the giant squid a minion of the old gods and with my six demon bag that does basically nothing i think it just gives me item level the, the only reason i have this trinket is because i bought it to have enough item level to go queue for these <laughs> Give me some loot. Hey, I got a, a vest. Haste instead of mastery. Yeah, fuck it. I'll take it. Everyone left except for the shadow priest. Guess we're going to leave as well. There's another satchel. The vest we already equipped. 40 item level difference. That's pretty nice, actually. Abyssal clam. We're going to open that. What do we get from the clam? We got a blood shrimp. I was going to say, I got a chaos orb from the clam. No, I got that from something else. But we got our blood shrimp. A health stone. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to keep buying that, too. What the fuck? I don't have the keybinds for this class. Oh no. I'll put it on shift two. I think that's where I kept it on my paladin. So I think I'll just put it on shift two and we'll put healing potions on shift F once we have them. Hopefully that's enough keybinds. I don't know. I'm, I'm running out. Look at this. I'm running out. I even have farsight. We're going to move farsight over there just to make this a little bit less cluttered. I don't have a keybind for the res. That's something I need to actually reconsider. I used to have it on alt middle mouse button, but then I moved alt middle mouse button to be my extra action button. So I don't know. I may have to actually just move wind fury weapon and the other stuff i think i'm yeah i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna move them over here i don't need to actively use those and bloodlust should be keybound that's for sure i don't know why i was moving that but we're gonna move the lightning shield over here as well there's radial menu add-ons and there's all sorts of stuff that you can use for that but i'm just gonna keep them over here i don't want more add-ons because i already have a lot of add-ons anyway we're gonna queue up and then we're gonna continue once we have another dungeon pop no we're not i need to use okay feral spirits and what do i get here hmm ancestral guidance yes the feral spirits the doggos are gonna go on alt too or should i just put them into storm strike are they a global cooldown thing let me see if they're a global cooldown they are a global cooldown thing hmm so i have to actually choose to use them that's a little bit annoying i wish they were just like a buff that i pop and then they're up do they actually come with a pet bar i don't actually know if they come with a pet 
bar. So I'm going to put a pet bar right here in an annoying spot on my screen to make sure that if I do have it show up when they're up, I actually notice and then I'll make an adjustment to my UI to make sure that the pet bar actually fits in there. And we might have to put in some key binds for the pet bar as well, but I think it goes control one to control whatever. So we'll probably be able to control it even if we don't have special key binds set up. But yeah, now we have the doggos and we have ancestral guidance. So when I see that the group is about to take a bunch of damage or if uh, I'm taking a bunch of damage or anything like that, I can pop on ancestral guidance and just uh, heal up the group a bit or probably a lot. 25% of my damage done. And that's not single target damage. It's just damage. That's yeah, we're going to be healing for quite a bit up to 3.3k healing to each target per second. So it is capped. Okay. And three nearby players instead of four. So it's not the whole group, but it's still really good. As far as I know, shamans are really good. It's like a vampiric embrace as well is really really good and nature's vigil in general anything that makes your damage do healing is really really good so yeah i think it's gonna be a useful talent for sure but yes back to sitting in the queue until we get a pop the stone core okay okay we have to reapply our buff i had to go click it off to the side force of earth should be interrupted here by the ground shaker guys or whatever give everyone movement speed and let's go actually grab this first and then we give movement speed well we give movement speed either way but we move knock everything up with my aoe knock up never mind knocking them up doesn't stop play that's kind of busted failed my interrupt oh no Oh, I'm stunned. Okay, AOE CC over there. So enhancement shamans have a shit ton of CC in and of themselves. And then being a high mountain tower just adds even more to that. All right, we're going to try and use all our cooldowns here. We use the wolves, use the doom winds, then smash the bejesus out of storm strike. I'm going to even bloodlust. Fuck it. Keep storm striking. Being targeted by the crystal thingy. Okay, I just need to move. It doesn't actually track me. It feels like I did a bunch of damage there with all my cooldowns up. I would fucking hope so. I think I really need to set up a weak aura that's going to track the amount of maelstrom procs I have because looking up in the right corner to see if I have 10 or not is kind of shit. And from my understanding, you really want to use it only when you have 10. We're going to stun these with the totem. If the totem would go off on time, we would. <laughs> Give everyone movement speed for this section, at least for a little bit. Don't stand in the black spots. <laughs> Heroic leap coming in from the warrior. He's like, fuck this dodging and shit. Okay, one and a half minute cooldowns feel pretty fucking good, I gotta admit. That's really fucking nice. And my understanding is that later on I get a talent that reduces the cooldown of the doggos, doggos, whenever I proc maelstrom weapon or when i consume maelstrom weapon i'm not sure i think when i get a stack of maelstrom weapon is when it reduces it uh, whenever you get a stack of maelstrom weapon the cooldown of feral spirits is reduced by one second one second per stack is pretty fucking good we were unable to skip the flares that's okay i'm just gonna stun them with my racial that flay is annoying because if there's a tank standing in front that doesn't notice or whatever it's a bit annoying make sure we don't pull the sentry okay we did pull the sentry but it's no big deal yeah until i have the weak arm i'm just gonna use whenever my chain lightning lights up i'm just gonna use it because i can't can't really tell quickly enough to see if I have 10 stacks or not. Obviously, I don't have stacks as soon as it lights up, but sometimes I'm mashing the bejesus out of Storm Strike and I could get a bunch of stacks without even realizing. We use Doom Winds here because this guy's a bit annoying. We are trying to avoid pulling the other one, but it looks like we're going to have to pull him anyway. I'm going to drop the doggos here as well. Why not? They do damage. They do damage. It's a good use of the cooldown. The bosses aren't hard, so it's not like we need to make sure we kill the bosses before shit goes down. I dropped a heal on that guy. Maybe could have just used my Ancestral Guidance. Okay, we have to make sure we purge his spell reflect every time he gets it otherwise the warlock might kill himself with his own fucking spells there's a ground slam that's a frontal from what i understand and then he's gonna try and do his shatter never mind we killed him before he even tried to do his shatter properly drop the totem where everyone has to go to go through it tendrils i don't even have time to hit things what the heck i mean they are very very squishy little mobs but still i want to zoog zoog Oh my god, look at that fucking lightning just go off. Oh yes, <laughs> this class is just fucking amazing. Okay, we have another set of cooldowns to use here. Force grip should get kicked every time. If she's just vanishing, she's evaporating in front of her eyes. Use chain lightning instead of the correct spell, which would have been lightning bolt, but it's not like it fucking matters. Holy shit, that was quick. Level 54? That's another two levels. What the heck? Oh, people want to queue. Yes, 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 yes. I don't have to wait and queue for hours. The tank wants to stay, but the healer left. But the tank should be enough to make us find a pretty quickly let's see what we want to spell our ta spell our talent points on spend our talent points on reduces the cooldown of spirit what gust of wind by five seconds i use it quite often so maybe i should grab that but what are these tranquil air stone skin totem physical damage reduction hmm it's like uh that should help like the tank for the most part very rarely do i need to use that on anything else relocates your active totem to the specified location oh that's kind of cool you can move the windrush totem to somewhere 10 second cooldown hmm. i don't know actually reduces the cooldown of your totem is by three seconds I mean, I guess that's cool for the lower cooldown ones, but for the like longer cooldown ones, like two minute windrush totems, it doesn't really make a big difference. I'm just going to go with this for now and uh, 
I don't know, this that will reduce the thing. Yeah, just waiting on one DPS. Oh, we never turned in this quest. Or these quests, I should say. These are both intellect. Which one's more expensive? This one is more expensive. We're going to get that one. And neither of these are upgrades, but this, uh, the legs are more expensive. Okay, Windrush Totem. Use my little jumpy jump. Okay, so now I think the idea is you just keep using the, the doggos on cooldown. So just whenever you have them, you just pop them. Because you're going to keep getting Maelstrom weapon procs or stacks. And that'll just keep lowering the cooldown on the dogs all the time. I'm getting my ass kicked. Help, help. I'm going to use Ancestral Guidance here because we're taking a lot of damage from these guys exploding and stuff. And the dogs are back off cooldown. Hell yeah, dude. Gonna drop some AoE CC here. Gonna drop our totem on top of them. I think that helped out a bit along with the Ancestral Guidance. Pretty good. Kick the Cyclone for sure. Don't have anything for the... Actually, I do. I have a knockup. Actually, it, di it died before I could do the knockup. But still, I had the knockup. I need to remember the knockup. The knockup is the lowest cooldown of all those things. Just gonna make sure I keep an eye on this guy. I'm gonna even put a flame shock on him. Fuck him. If he has a dot, I think he just stays down. No, he resets the dot off of himself. Oh no. I <laughs> jumped through the boss. That's a learning experience right there. I can't use the bloodlust yet because we have the thing. I'm gonna use the doggos, doom wind, mash storm strike like crazy. We'll use movement speed after the slipstream. Right here, everyone kind of has to go through that. I kicked one way perform. The other one I will have to purge. That's fine. We have the doggos available again. Oh yeah, I'm getting the hang of this build. This is, uh, I'm probably not doing everything correctly. There's probably people watching who know much better than I do, and they're like, wait, you're not doing this, you're not doing that, blah, 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 blah. But I'm starting to understand how the build is supposed to work, which is always a good look. I'm just gonna frost shock that next one, keep hitting it so that the knockback doesn't affect our friends. The dot, I think, should keep them subdued for a little while, but I just wanted to make sure I hit that one again. Make sure nobody else gets hit and knocked off. Purge that thing. Maybe I should, maybe I should let the mage spell steal it. Uh, actually, it's, they're probably not gonna spell steal it. Most mages don't spell steal it, even in higher mythic plus, so I don't think somebody doing a leveling dungeon is gonna give enough of a crap to do it. It's not that they don't know, it's just that, like, do they give a shit? I don't think they do. I guess we should bloodlust here, maybe? Yes? I say yes, because I want to zoog zoog. I have my cooldowns. Okay, let's see how much storm strike we can do when we have bloodlust and the, when, never mind, the boss is basically dead. <laughs> I didn't even finish my sentence. I'm getting another cape. Wait, do I have my totems? Do I have my, I have my totems all as well. I'll use the totem once we start running up. Use my totem here, the stun totem. Let me purge this so that people can deal damage to them. Use the totem here. I'm going to say the totem for just about every single totem that I drop. I mean, there. I'm not wrong. It's just that I'm not being very specific. <laughs> Oh, it looks like we can skip those. I'm just going to yeet myself over there. Cool. Warrior's going to have to wait for a bit. And I know we can skip these as well. And you can skip the next pack if you just uh, use prison on the Servant of Assad or if you use like sap or something, you can actually skip. Or if you could just run to the side, you can skip. I was curious why the fucking Feral Druid didn't pull and it's because they're stealthed, Vlad. Kick that rally. Remove this from the Servant. Remove it from the other Servant so we can keep DPSing. Very nice. That was pretty quick. And now we have the gust of wind so we don't have to take fall damage here oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah i don't know what the fuck accent that was supposed to be use my six demon bag to do exactly nothing like i'm sure it does multiple different things i just never notice what it exactly does i just summoned my dogs as the boss died <laughs> they're here to see it off and i'm trying to jump over to where the chest is supposed to be in mythic plus never mind 56 another two levels two levels per fucking run two seconds per fucking maelstrom weapon stack that's just crazy dude this is so good maybe instead of one of these i should go for this to give me ascendance every now and again i think i'll do that then i have a point over here we're gonna do i don't know more cooldown on this and let's enter dungeon another throne of the tides we're level 56 at this pace it looks like two more dungeons and we're 60 that's kind of crazy okay we're looking for the healing wave we're gonna knock them all up then we're gonna do the aoe stun from our class or race that seems to have shut them up for long enough or was it the sigil from the hunter i'm not a, uh, a demon hunter i should i'm not actually sure this guy's kind of beefy i'm just gonna use my cooldown on him fuck him make sure i don't stand in the poison he spawns on the ground and really hurts it's kind of hard to see here but pretty rough pretty rough and tough and does a lot of damage is that the jellyfish underneath us are we about to get taken up yes yes we are okay cool that was cool timing i think we keep going in this direction like i said once you enter you just keep going forward and you go to where you need to go you move this little bag that i got up there i have another bag over here Lots of bags. Give movement speed because I think this demon hunter is just going to drag it all the way to the end of the hallway. I'm going to kick that thing when it starts casting. Is he? Oh, he is. Okay. Kick it. Keep it moving. Never mind. He doesn't want to keep it moving. I lied. But that's okay. This does not prevent us from zoog zooging any harder. Kick the healing wave and do the knock up next time I see them casting. They've decided not to cast knock up. There we go. I lied. I'm going to kick that. Hell yeah. None of that business here. It does take a lot of globals though. So I'm looking forward to having more haste just so I may, my globals are shorter so I can get more CC in. Just knock everything up. Why not? Do 
that knockup is so fucking good. Use our racial. Drop the totem. The capacitor totem. I need to start calling them by their names. <laughs> As otherwise, it's just going to be the totem every single time, like I said. Going to summon in the wolves. Why not? Finish this guy off before we switch to Lady Najjar. Kick those shock blasts. Which means I won't be able to kick the ads, but it's not like I don't have other CC for the ads. Okay, wind strike is... Ah, I understand now. When I get ascendance, I get a different ability instead of storm strike. Okay, okay. Because I saw some of the guides be like, what the hell is wind strike? <laughs> like, I don't see that talent. Back on Lady Nazjar, I pop my cooldowns. Or my doom winds, I should say. Just gotta keep an eye out for these little swirlies or the little tornadoes, because I keep standing in them like a dum-dum. Six demon bag, doggos. Probably a waste on the doggos, because she's gonna go down pretty quick. Oh, okay, never mind. She's not. That wasn't bad. Movement speed for all my buddies. Launch myself through the air with wind. <laughs> with the wind rush. Was that what it's called? The gust of wind. Never mind. The wind rush is the totem, Vlad. God damn it. So many abilities. So many ability names to remember. It's gonna take a while until I get used to that. No, somebody's getting squeezed. I have ascendance again. That turns me into this twink. I think everyone knows about the teleport pad here because everyone's just kind of blasting through the dungeons, which is perfect for me. Nine stack of maelstrom weapon, though. That's pretty cool. A lot of extra damage. My maelstrom weapon stacks went to shit, but that's okay. I really like the gust of wind. I do have pretty fucking insane mobility between that and the feral lunge. I feel like the feral lunge is worth sacrificing one point of the weapon thing for. I think that's okay. Just gonna remove that swell. I think it does a bunch of AoE damage. I'm gonna remove it from the next ones. The first ones, I first one I let go through for a while because the mob was almost dead, so it would go away by that way. Wonder how they're gonna handle the like the ads coming in as slowly as they do, or do the ads just seem to they seem to be coming in as soon as you finish off the ones before them? So it's as quickly as you can finish the first one first enemy you get to fight the next one i feel like that's okay now here we're definitely sitting here and just waiting i wonder how they're going to handle that for Myth mythic plus actually I, like I'm, I'm curious what kind of changes they're going to make to make the dungeons actually more more mythic plus friendly because these were not made when mythic plus was a thing obviously just like vp and you can kind of feel it in vp because there's no trash to really skip there's very 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 few skips that you can do in vp I'm back to being twink mode using our bloodlust here just because we need to go through this phase to get to the phase where we just kind of one shot everything. I'm going to use my cooldowns while I'm in this phase. First, we zap over to the one guy and then we boing over to the next one. I mean, the mobility I have between this, uh, between the gust of wind and the feral lunge is pretty fucking ridiculous. I should be killing the boss, shouldn't I? Instead of just talking shit about the mobility of Enhancement Shaman. <laughs> All right, well, the boss was defeated. No thanks to me. Look at the absolute size of these lads. The tank is all gone. I think he's finished with his quest or something. And I got the same chest again, but at higher item level, I'm okay with that. The healer, maybe... No, everyone left. <laughs> Everyone left. I'm back to queuing all on my lonesome. My weapons are definitely outdated now because my most recent piece of gear is 182 item level and my weapon is 101 item level. So that's a bit rough, but we'll get we'll get weapons. We'll get weapons eventually. I'm not too worried about it. Oh, we have a new headpiece. I think we wanted to equip this cloak, but I didn't want to equip it until I could actually transmog it back to being the totems. I just I just like the way the, the totems look. The totems just look really fucking cool. There we go. 20 gold? What? Oh damn, the this is actually worth 20 gold. Damn, it's quite a bit. How much are these worth? 20 six okay i don't feel bad about it anymore because i can vendor stuff that's really all expensive as well then it's good we have some volatile air that's gonna sell for a little bit that's good pretty cool i'm gonna queue up actually no talents and then queue up oh i only got one level from this one yeah 57 but i'm almost at 58 so we're still we're still blasting we're still blasting all right we're gonna we're gonna put a point into witch doctor's ancestry and then we can have the doggos more often we can hang out with the dogs maybe get some glyphs to make them look different if there are such glyphs i will take a look once we are max level and have our transmog and everything so we can ma make them match the transmog. Anyway, back into the queue. Ooh, a queue pop. Let's go. If I get very, very lucky, this might be my last dungeon. I don't think it will be, though. That would be very, 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 very lucky. How many var varies was that? I don't actually know. Come on, accept. Tank, healer, and DPS? It feels like that's a pre-made. There's no way three people... Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. I guess I'm going back into the queue. Okay. Another pop. Let's see if we actually get... Okay, whoa, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, let's see if we actually get in, but we do. It's been a while since we've done this one. Ooh, a fellow shaman. This one's a resto shaman. We apply our shield buff and we boing over there and we start zoog zooging. Okay, so we have a we have someone who's very enthusiastic. I can appreciate it. Doom wins and let's go. Oh yeah, that's that's a good bit. We're gonna put another capacitor totem on top of that. Inflicting pain. We're gonna stop that. I'm having pain inflicted upon me. I do not appreciate that. Oh god, we have our dogs back up again. That's so fucking good, dude. Chains of woe. We have to nuke those and then get away from him before he does that. Can I stand in that if I use my defense? 
defensive? I feel like I can because the defensive is massive. <laughs> okay, I'm, I should not have stood in that. I really should not have stood in that. I was being far too optimistic with it. I'm not going to stand on it again. Don't worry, friends. It was an experiment. It was just a prank, bro. It was just a prank. Ah, another Windrush totem. We can just wait for Raz. He's going to kill the rest of the group or the rest of the enemies in the in the chamber. Peek Zug Zug Raz over here. Get him, Raz. If he hits them and I... And I okay, am I in combat with them now? If I just tag them, will Raz still kill them? Okay, he will, but I won't get EXP for it. That's unfortunate. Put up another totem here. Make sure everyone's moving quickly. The Demon Hunter is way ahead of us over there. But well, we have Hop, Skip, Jump, and we are over there. Level 58. That's good. That's good. We're probably going to hit 59 by the end of the dungeon. The Demon Hunter is skipping the... Uh, yeah, not sure if I'm a big fan of that. Everything here is silent, so I don't have to actually CC it. The other Shaman chose to CC it. I will knock it up right here. Oh, yeah, that feels really fucking good. I like playing Shaman. I'm going to kick that real quick. Okay, we're going to explode it. Tank wants to go back to do the boss. I absolutely refuse to do anything other than... Okay. Let the hunter, let the range take that. The hunter was taking it. It looks like the entire group knows what to do. I can stand. I don't want you to transform. So I'm just going to stand here and start tanking in front instead of you. There we go. I'm doing it. Kick that. I was a little confused on, on what to do here. So I'm not doing all that much damage, but there we go. I knew what to do. It just wasn't sure who was going to handle which part. I, st I stood by the side to not let the far one transform, but the hunter was handling that, which made a lot more sense because the hunter should handle that because he's ranged. I did drop my, ca drop my capacitor totem on this trying to use it as often as possible. My feral lunge over there, very nice. Okay, I got CC'd or something. Yeah, I got bonked on the noggin. The other shaman is just beating me to everything. He's CCing things more. He's interrupting things more. Putting me to shame here. Use my doggos. Maybe not the best time to use doggos because they're not going to be dealing damage the entire time we have them here. Shouldn't Raz be coming here? He will be coming here. Very good. Let him take care of those guys for us. I don't want to join Pepe Lath, no. Thank you. And the last ones. Once he gets the last ones, we drop the totem. Make everyone move quicker. Okay, Tank is going for the double ad pull. Not sure I like that because last time I was here, I got my ass kicked. So I'm going to use my defensive here. An off heal. Going to use my off healing thing as well. Just so my damage heals us. Okay, good. Drop the doggos again. Use my hop to get over there. He's got six stacks of the debuff. So we're going to be able to deal quite a good chunk of damage to him basically for each stack of the debuff he takes more damage he doesn't take any if he didn't not any but he takes very very reduced damage if he doesn't have any stacks of the debuff up it's important to actually drag him through the middle to give him a stack or two of the debuff there we go i feel like this is a much smoother run than the first one i did because the first one i did there was uh the tank who wanted to skip absolutely everything even though you can't really do that because then you have to spend more time killing things because you don't have raz to kill things put the doggos back out man the dogs are up all the fucking time that's amazing hey tank wants us to hug a left no, we're not. We, we're not going to be able to skip that. It looks like that guy is just a little bit too close. We're going to knock everything up. I didn't really get to do much there because somebody absolutely popped off and did a shit ton of damage. I would love to do the extra boss just for the quest, but I understand that we can't do that. I'm just going to ask if we can do the extra boss, please. It looks like the tank wants to do it. He says no idea why you want to do it, but uh, sure. Thank you. I appreciate that. For I appreciate you humoring me. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I want to do it is for the quest and because it's fun. I like this boss. I like core hounds in general and we get a quest to turn in. Yes, we actually get an upgrade. No, never mind. It's not an upgrade. It's just the item level scaling messing it up. We'll take this one because it's two gold. Knock everything up. No reason not to. Our glo our, 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 uh, what? Our global cooldowns are short. That's what I wanted to say. Ascendant Lord, hop over to him. Bring the doggos out to play. I should probably doing, be doing single target. These guys don't take any damage. They just absorb everything. Okay, switch targets. Which one is it? This one. The one with the skull, Vlad. The one with the skull. That's the one. Oh, just all of the storm strike. All of the storm strike. More storm strikes. More. That was... Ah, this is so satisfying when you get a bunch of them in a row. You're level 59 almost halfway through 59 are we halfway through 59 yeah 50 percent exactly halfway through 59 so one more dungeon and we're 60 maybe even 61 who knows that is fucking crazy dude this is so fast for leveling okay we have two talent points to spend welfare spells okay yeah we go for the alpha wolf yeah, yeah for sure because that's aoe cleave i mean come on more zug zug and on this side we're gonna go for recess the cooldown of your most recently used totem with a base cooldown shorter than three minutes so anything that's under three minutes i can reset the cooldown of. We can use that on Capacitor Totem or we can use that on Windrush Totem and I think I'm going to be using it on Windrush Totem all the time so...
Where the heck do I put that? We're gonna put that alt mouse button four. So the back mouse button, I think that's okay. I don't, I don't know. We'll see, we'll figure it out. So what that means is I can drop the Windrush totem. I can use that and then I can drop another Windrush totem and we can just keep rushing between them. Very cool. Anyway, I'm gonna queue up for the last one. I think this is gonna be the last one of this episode. Might be a bit of a shorter episode, but uh, yeah, I didn't plan on going past level 60. It is Monday, 6.44 PM as I record this. For EU servers, the reset time is Wednesday in the morning, like in the middle of the night. So I'm going to try and get to level 70, maybe even today, but that would be in the next episode. And if I do get the 70, I would try and do dream surge to get gear. I'll try to do the time walking dungeons. The time walking dungeons, I don't even need the dream surge gear for. The reason I would do more time walking dungeons after hitting 70 is because I want to get the five time walking dungeons done so I can get a free he piece of a her heroic Abaris loot, which would be amazing because I don't know if that's actually going to be there for the next week as well and even if it is there for the next week then i get just another piece of hero tier avarus loot which is going to be awesome but yeah anyway back into sitting in the queue until we get a dungeon oh that is a mighty fine hammer you have there nice hammer oh they have an enchant effect on oh a dungeon pop okay no socializing for me i have to go do dungeons if this dps accepts <laughs> and they do oh it's the lost city of the toll weir i can't believe it i'm back here i don't rap much but let me make it clear when i drop my tremor totem there's nothing to fear when healers see me join they start to cheer because when I pop ancestral guidance, all the low health bars disappear. Okay, okay, that's enough. That's enough goofing. I'm getting knocked around by minds trying to think of fucking rhymes. And then I do another one by accident. <laughs> Wait, this time I fit through with the fucking dog. What the hell is going on? Maybe I had bloodlust going, so I was even bigger and it didn't let me go through. I am very tempted to actually just pop bloodlust and try to run through that fucking thing. <laughs> Why I'm disoriented, that's unfortunate. I'm disoriented again. This is also very unfortunate. I'm gonna pop an off heal on that person. There we go. Wind rush totem. People want to skip to the right. That's okay. Never mind. The tank, I think, is pulling there. That's fine. As long as it's the tank that pulls, I don't really care. Never mind. We're stunned for two and a half hours. Oh, we can't go over that. But we can go up here. Yes. Yes, we can. Oop. Dogs again. Storm strike. Storm strike. More storm strike. I want more storm strike. Yes, more storm strike. Six demon bag. Use my cooldown. Actually, I probably just should have used my cooldown and then maybe later use six demon bag shouldn't be standing behind the boss standing behind the boss gets you hit by its tail he's very upset at us killing the crocodile i'm just gonna stand in the whirlwind with my defensive up and i'm gonna use ancestral guidance to just be able to heal through it basically i should be summoning dogs more often i'm gonna definitely need a weak aura that's gonna rem remind me to use the dogs we're gonna use mounts here instead of using the windrush totem because there's no reason to use windrush totem here and I can't even use it because it's still on cooldown. I'm on my midnight chicken. Well, it's not a chicken. It is a flight capable bird. Bird uh, chickens can't actually fly. So, but you know what I mean? No, I don't have a kick for the hex because I used it on something else. No, no hex this time. Gonna use the bounce. Yeah, I absolutely love the gust of wind. It, it feels really fucking good to use because I can use it without having to go into travel form or anything. Unlike, unlike the druid where I have to use travel form specifically to get the bounce and then i have another fucking movement speed or not a movement speed but like a gap closer with the feral lunge it feels pretty fucking good that way i am silenced i cannot use any of my spells that's unfortunate even though i am melee most of my things are considered spells especially the maelstrom proc stuff obviously oh sorry i i definitely pulled that like a dum dum. i'm just gonna smash it no i'm pulling more stuff oh no i'm sorry oh no at this point i think we've given up on not pulling them so we're just gonna we're just gonna murder all of them. Rampaging through the city. Drop the Tremor Totem. Not the Tremor Totem, the Windrush Totem. Give everyone movement speed. Tank pulled. Okay, we can go. Six Demon Bag. It's the only thing I have off cooldown other than my abilities that I can use off the global cooldown. We keep zigzagging. Ah, okay, the tank wants to move him closer to where we have to go to get to the next boss, which I understand. Okay, we're waiting to go into the Shadow Realm so we can kill the other ad that needs to get killed. Where is it? There it is. I accidentally hit the wrong target with my <laughs> Flame Shock. Unfortunate. Okay, Flame Shock isn't a big deal on this spec or on this build, I should say. There's a soul fragment. We need to fill that. We're going to use our ancestral guidance to help out with the healing because I saw somebody was low. Repop my doggos and repop my wind leaving here because the blaze of the, the heavens is actually over there doing quite a bit of damage. Very nice. And we can hop, use this little thing to blow us up there. Shit, man, this thing is in ruins. Waiting for the tank to pull. I've learned my lesson. I've been kicked for pulling instead of the tank. I will not do this again. Okay, we're supposed to focus the ad, so I'm going to do that. I think you can put some damage into him before the first ad spawns because the first ad triggers the shield. 
world, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And hop over there. That's a minion though, because I mean, we want to focus on the servant. So I'm going to focus on the servant. Pop my wolves. I have ascendance up, so I need to spam the bejesus out of storm strike. Okay, now we need to see where the last servant is. There he is. We're going to lunge over at him. Once the last servant is dead, we're going to use bloodlust and we're just going to burn down the boss. Okay, as soon as he goes away completely, there we go. We're going to bloodlust. That was a bad idea because we're getting blown around. That's, I didn't think of that. That's my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shit, I used my fucking things. Okay, are we done now with the fucking bouncy castle? Let's go. It's not like we needed the full duration of uh, Bloodlust to kill him anyway, but still, that was stupid. And we have level 60. Fuck yeah, let's go. Uh, I can actually turn in the quest for killing the other general thing, so we're gonna just go over there and do that real quick. Actually, I can mount up in this dungeon. Why am I not doing that? This warrior is called the Stormy Nature. Much more of an enhancement shaman name though, isn't it? Well, a storm build enhancement shaman. Can I fit through the door here? Yes, I can. Very nice. Hello, Captain Hadan. We got wrist. Did you get any Anything else we have a weapon here somebody told me in the comments that if you vendor something that gives you transmog you will actually earn the appearance so we're going to test that out really quick here i'm very curious if this is the case because that could save me quite a bit of equipping for no reason no i i vendored that and i did not get the appearance maybe it's just for gray items because they did say it was for a gray item just going to equip this really quick and we're going to switch back to having the wait what? Did I not equip it? Or was it a chest piece? Oh, it was a chest piece. Okay, I thought it was a back piece. Never mind. Is this an upgrade? No, it's not. What about this ring? Oh, this ring is definitely an upgrade. This is 123. We're going to equip it instead of that. Okay, I got distracted by new gear. Uh, but yeah, it looks like selling an item does not give you its appearance if it's a green item. I will check again when I have a gray item whose appearance, which appearance, which appearance I don't have. The appearance of which I do not have. That's that's how I would say that sentence, I think. But yeah, we're going to just equip it just to get the um, thingy thing that actually removed our weapon enchant. So we're going to have to refresh that to make the little bouncy thing go away. And now when I leave, actually, I'm going to have to refresh it again, probably. Yeah, we're going to have to refresh the shield because the shield, um, the shield goes away when you enter or leave a... Time walking dungeon because of some scaling issue, I would assume, where they force you to remove it. We have two new bags, so we have quite a few bags. We have 13 of them, that's pretty good. That's 13 pieces of loot that we can get. I'm just gonna quickly check if we can actually, yeah, we can keep queuing for Cataclysm time walking dungeons. There is no minimum item level requirement once you're 60. It just, uh, just at 35, which is cool. I like that. Either that or we've already met it. 129 item level doesn't seem like the item level, item level requirement, but yeah, I think 129 item level is actually really fucking low for level six but oh well i'm just gonna turn in this quest really quick i don't speak with abyssian for another two and a half gold uh yeah i'll speak to him quickly skip that thank you very much for the gold smell you later okay i think that's pretty much it i am going to just make my way to valdraken at level 60 uh, it, that's when you get the highest item level from these time walking bags. I think we don't even get the, yeah, we don't even get the time walking bags anymore since this just for leveling. So we're going to open these up. Hold on. Get a bunch of loot. Hell yeah. 194 item level loot. I'll take that. New boots. Ooh. Oh yeah. There's a lot of very nice upgrades here. There's also a ring apparently. That's awesome. A wrist, some gloves, another wrist, but this one has crit instead of mastery. So no, it says mastery instead of haste. So I'm going to keep the haste. The haste feels really good. I don't know if it's my top priority stat or if mastery is but i would assume mastery is and then haste is the right there up with it for the storm build we have another helmet very nice and boots with haste mastery instead of a uh, haste crit we're gonna go for the haste mastery ones cool we're now at 152 item level that's pretty good that's a nice improvement we're gonna vendor the rest of this crap that we don't need very nice now we have a nice clear inventory we're gonna put stuff on the auction house that we have in our little Regent bag, reagent, reagent. It's reagent. We talked about this. A regent is somebody else. Damn, these are down to five gold. They used to be like twelve gold. Look how people are dropping the price for no reason. That's kind of weird. My wallet's only already already sold. I just put it up on the auction house. We're gonna vendor the blood blood shrimp. I don't want to put that on the auction house. It's dirt cheap anyway. Very nice, very nice. And the last thing I want to do before we call this quits is I want to get the battle dragon. Since this is an alt, I have it unlocked. Since I did the quest line on my main character. Oh, did I just accidentally click the fucking portal back? I did. What the fuck? Well, Draken 2, Electric Boogaloo. Okay, I have unspent dragon riding thing, so let's go do that. And that's the last one. Very good. Now I have my Cliffside Wilder Drake. Oh, we need to change that immediately. We cannot go around like that. Mm -mm. Nope, none of that business. I don't care about this one. I just want to make the Cliffside Wilder Drake use the infinite colors because honestly, the infin infinite colors just look so good. We're going to leave the horns on because otherwise it kind of looks weird. Like, look at this. It just looks weird. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. We'll try without the horns. Let's take a look. 
you want the barb. Oh, we have an emerald, emerald helper. Hey, buddy. I can actually interact with him in the middle of this. Anyway, horn color infinite, back bear, saddle nothing, or armor nothing. We're going to go with wide stripes, I guess. Armor color doesn't matter. I don't have anything. Brow, we're going to go with plates. Hair, we're going to go with, yeah, we're just going to go with hair up there. We're going to go bear, eyesight both. Eye color should be like the infinite color. Yeah. Crest, we want plates. Ears, we want bear. Jaw, we want bear. Spiked, maybe? No. Yeah, definitely bear. And hair color should be the infinite one. Okay, how does that look? That actually doesn't look so bad without the horns. So here's it. Here it's with horns. That looks okay, but does it look bad without the horns? Let's see, actually. Let's mount up and see. Oh, you can save the looks now? Or was that always there and I, this is the first time I've actually fucking noticed it? We're gonna save that look. Infinite will, will, der, will, der Drake. That took a few tries. Okay, let's take a look now. That doesn't look bad without the horns. I kind of like it without the horns. Let's do it without the horns this time. And what do I get for picking this up? I do actually get Dream Surge Coalescence. Do I get EXP though? No, I don't. That's okay. That would make it too easy because I would just fly around and get EXP for collecting these. Okay. This might be a bit harder with a Chonky Boy Tauren because he can't fit through the little neat spaces oh that one just is oh somebody collected it maybe there's one underneath here because i've been told that this one can sometimes the one that's underneath there can sometimes give you like extra loot or maybe it's just like a little bit of a glitch where it gives you loot or shows you loot that you got before i'm not sure maybe underneath here no i see something glowing over there oh no it's a dream surge a little bloom that you can collect okay 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 hold on requires level 70 well fine fuck you too then why am i collecting these i don't need to collect these yet this is something i should be doing at level 70 anyway you have to make it up to the tower when we make it up to the tower that is when we can end the episode oh somebody just sniped that right in front of me god dang it <laughs> okay we're almost at the tower and we have made it to the tower and we have to actually adjust our bar for the little uh, thingy thing here hold on hold on everything needs to be done so much stuff to do favorite random mount over here this goes on b this goes on five this is two one okay uh four is going to be for crash lightning there's crash lightning we're going to put it over there we're going to put sundering down as well f is for ice strikes and we'll put that there and there we go and this yes okay well take care we're going to stop tracking that we're going to oh we didn't ever do the heritage thing rescue the earth speaker we're going to keep that i guess we're going to stop tracking it though and that is all the cleanup i wanted to do emerald helper i, I can use the auction house with the helper that's kind of crazy can i vendor stuff to you i can't because i have nothing to vendor but okay we're gonna hang out with our little emerald helper here oh if i don't target him it doesn't show can i make him just like not stand in front of me though there we go like that nice now we have a nice little outro screen but yes that's pretty much it for this episode if you enjoyed it drop a like leave a comment letting me know what you liked about it i read all the comments i replied to pretty much all of them if you keep watching these videos even though you're not subscribed please do consider changing that i'd really appreciate it and as always thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next episode